we say believe in Brynn, it's twofold. So we believe in her, obviously, that she can accomplish whatever she truly tries to. And then also we believe that her future will be different, which is why we fight so hard for a cure for Rett syndrome. So Rett syndrome is, is a random genetic mutation. It's, it's, Bryn doesn't have Rett syndrome because of anything that Kristen or I did or anything that, that Bryn did. You know, one phrase I've, I've heard before is she got an unlucky roll of the genetic dice. Um, so Rett syndrome picked Bryn, but unfortunately it made a bad choice. Any diagnosis for your child is super scary when you don't, you don't know what the future holds. Bryn and I were driving in a car and I got the phone call and they told me on the phone. So. You know, a lot of emotions. I, luckily, I was close to home. I remember coming in our front door, and I felt, I mean, I just fell to the floor. Like, every time I think about that moment, it was, it's devastating. It took me, personally, and Sean can speak for himself, but it took me about six months to even say Rett syndrome out loud. I look back, and I think that that's the time that I personally needed to grieve and then uh, kind of get my fight back. So when it first happened, we went on lockdown. I mean, we didn't tell anybody. We told our immediate family, that's it. Um, and we sent, our, we sent an email out to our friends, it was via email. Um, I still remember one of the lines was, you know, sorry for breaking this news in an email, but it's a conversation that quite frankly, we're not looking to have, especially repetitively, to 30 or 40 different people. And that was sent out on February 13th, was the day before Valentine's Day. That was the day that we officially joined the fight for Rett Syndrome. I knew Sean and Kristen when I was at college. Upon graduation, you know, everyone kind of goes their separate ways and stayed in touch via social media and things like that. And then soon after I had my son, I stumbled upon Kristen's Facebook page where she kind of was mentioning that their daughter Bryn um, had this very rare disease, Rett syndrome. Coach Fink reached out to me and said I would love to help. And I think naturally people try to help in ways that they know how. So she's obviously a fabulous field hockey coach and she wanted to get her field hockey team involved. And she asked us if we could be a part of her team and Britain could be an honorary member, can we meet the team? Like I mentioned, she wanted to get her team involved because that's how she knows how to help. And then I think she was touched the fact that we have children the same age. Honestly, we just want to help bring more awareness to it to help fund the research and help bring to the public's attention that there, this does exist. And whether it's bringing her to the field or the games or stuff or like taking pictures with her, making her feel part of the team, just anything we can honestly to make her feel welcome and um, help bring awareness to Rett syndrome. I think we're going to get after this thing. What do you think? I'm yeah? Can we I'm find a ball, oh, okay. nice You'll be playing hockey in no time. We got this. Absolutely. We got this. We're not going to be able to get into a lab and, and cure Rett syndrome for Brandon. We're not doctors. We're not going to be able to help it on the scientific side. So we realized that you know how we're going to be able to help Brynn is is to to one you know love her and, and raise her as best the best of our ability, and then also to become advocates for uh, Rett syndrome awareness and research funding. Yeah, I think it's a pretty big source of motivation for us. I mean, we see Brynn's family how much they're fighting for her and for Rett syndrome, and to be able to look at them and then translate that to the field and it gives us a good source of motivation for us playing our games and just trying to fight as hard as we can fight and never give up, sim similar to what Bryn's family is doing. There's tremendous hope in the Rett syndrome community and also more importantly in the Rett syndrome community and the scientific community. Rett syndrome has been reversed in mice and that it has a very good chance of becoming the first neurological disorder to be reversed uh, or cured. I think with Coach Fink's you know, preparation, and she is so passionate about Brynn already that I think it passes on to the team. We like to say that Brynn has touched so many people um, just by her strength and resilience without ever speaking a word and without ever taking a step. Um, and I think that, you know, a college student, an athlete, um, you know, you always try, strive to be better and you might take a step back and think, wow, like it might not be the end of the world that I didn't make that goal or, you know, and I want Bryn to teach people what's important in life and what's important in life is treating people with kindness, 
especially, you know, I want Bryn to be treated like any other kid, and I'm sure that, I don't know, she's just special.